this life that you're giving. I'm gonna live it, yeah, I'm gonna live it. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform uh, or attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Oh! Uh oh! This doesn't look so good! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. Better run now. This'll come uh, in handy. Using tools. You're a clever monkey, aren't you? help. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Zoe, I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? R Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well, what about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. What are you hiding from? I'm here for your safety. Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend, Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. 
So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> All right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry. Russell will get it. That kind of hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Come on, ah, make him this cry. Is nuts, though. Ernest, you nerd, what were you thinking? You fool, you don't see it. Gary's got a plan, a great plan. You idiot, Gary's plans are a load of crap. I should know. You don't get it. My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us. Whatever, I'm gonna stop you both. Derby, someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Jimmy, you ain't nothing. You're just asking for it. get any better than this. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. Bunch of bitches. <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Grr! Slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did 
all my dirty work for me, Hopkins. You're like a puppet, only dumber. Whatever, let's finish this. Whoa, you'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. moment to swoop in and take it all. Like lining up dominoes, it all fell together so perfectly. Like Lola, I was in the dorm planning. While you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the carnival like a child, my plan was coming together. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk. You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy. Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can. Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great. But I never did anything to you. You would have if I'd given you the chance. Face it, I'm smarter than you. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> You're smarter than me. You hate everyone, and everyone hates you. Genius. The head likes me. I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> what are you doing? I heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Enjoy this life that you're giving. I'm gonna live it, yeah, I'm gonna live it.